got some interesting comments from Bethesda today regarding a few things. First of all, we have Rage and the Evil Within on the topic list for Bethesda, as apparently both of these games were successful enough for Bethesda to consider making sequels. Now, both of these games are definitely met with mixed receptions, especially Rage on PC, of course. The PC options, or lack thereof, was definitely an issue. And the game itself definitely had its flaws, and the same for The Evil Within. You know, it was a very cool game, very sort of old school Resident Evil-y, but it definitely had its flaws as well, and both found their place with their respective fan bases. However, according to Bethesda's VP Pete Hines, it's definitely possible for both these games to get a sequel. Hines was recently asked by Finder if these games had actually sold well enough to warrant the cost of a sequel. And he said, quote, I do think both The Evil Within and Rage did well enough so we can make sequels. Sadly, he was very careful not to actually give any hints about whether or not they're actually going to be working on it, just spoke about the possibility. And then he went on to say, quote, I can't talk about the unannounced stuff and what we may or may not do. I get myself in trouble whenever I do that. If I come out and say, I just don't think it's going to happen, then people freak out. So I won't confirm or deny stuff we may or may not do as people jump to the wrong conclusions. Personally, I loved Rage and I had a ton of fun playing it, but we have a lot of stuff in the pipeline right now, so we have to wait and see. Personally, I would love to see The Evil Within 2. I really enjoyed what I played of that game, and while it was flawed, it had some really cool ideas, and I want to see it explored a bit more. And the same for Rage. While that game was, I'd say, in my opinion at least, the sort of lesser of the two games, as you're comparing them, also they're very different games, but we're talking about in terms of quality. I'll put Rage slightly below the, the, below the Evil Within, but I would still like to see Rage done again with you know, perhaps more scope and depth, and obviously the issues I doubt that we had for that game I think, don't think many people would say no to either of these getting a sequel, but of course, as always, let me know your thoughts. But before you do that, let's talk about another thing that P. Hines had to say. And this time he was talking about Quake Champions when speaking to GameSpot at the very recent QuakeCon 2016 about why the game isn't coming to PS4 and Xbox One. Now, of course, I've spoken about this before, but I thought you might want to hear again what P. had to say on this topic. And he said, quote, you know, Quake Champions, maybe anybody else would have been like, no, you have to do it, and it's got to work on every platform. We're like, no, it's a PC-only thing. It's this kind of game. It's got to have this kind of performance. It's going to be on PC full stop. We feel very comfortable making those calls. I guess theoretically there's a chance it could come to consoles. Who knows what future consoles look like, but this is a full stop, a PC product. 120Hz, on lock frame rate, that's the experience we want folks to have. So basically what he's saying is it's not coming out for the PS4 and Xbox One, but you know it could potentially maybe come out for, say, I don't know, the Scorpio or the Xbox Two or whatever the you know, actual proper one is after the Xbox One and the PlayStation 5, or whatever the future iterations of consoles are named. You get my point, it will be the next lot of powerful hardware. Then they might consider it if they can uh, get the experience that they envision for Quake Champions running on those systems. And it's nice to see them like sticking to their guns with their vision. Of course, they can afford to do this. They're Bethesda and it's Quake. So even if they say, yeah, it's only coming out on PC, it's still going to do really well. And I think Quake fans are definitely going to appreciate the fact that, hey, it's not going to be like, quote unquote, dumbed down or anything like that for consoles. So, yeah, I actually think most people would appreciate this. And I think it's interesting that he's definitely open to consoles if they've got the power for it. But it's probably going to be quite far in the future for this particular game. As always, though, guys, thank you very much for watching. And do let me know your thoughts and opinions on anything I've discussed here today. And, of course, as always, do remember to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. It does help out a great deal and it's very appreciated. I'll see you next time.